at 6. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Arizona Game and Fish officials are reminding the public to stray away from feeding wild javelina. This in response to a couple attacks near Sedona last month. And as News 4 Tucson Zach Briggs explains, it's very obvious javelina aren't always the most friendly of wildlife. Javelina can be vicious creatures, especially when there's dogs involved. An Oro Valley woman can attest to that who lost her toy poodle to a group of javelina seven years ago. It was just awful. Our house looked like a murder scene. A night of terror in an ordinary Oro Valley neighborhood. Sandy Burnett was indoors when suddenly her toy poodle named Pebbles rushed under the bed, leaving a trail of blood throughout the house. Burnett's husband then came running in, saying Javelina had just attacked her in the front yard. My husband pulls her out and she went to jump on a chair that was right by our bed and all of her insides fell out. I mean, she, they cut her from, you know, end to end. Turns out the javelina who had dug up a burrow were trying to protect their babies, which led to the deadly mauling. Whether it's out in the middle of the desert or a residential area, javelina are everywhere. Last month, Arizona Game and Fish killed javelina that attacked two people around Sedona. In both cases, the individuals were feeding the creatures. Game and Fish says no to feeding the wild boars, as doing so is a recipe for disaster that could quickly escalate, especially if dogs are involved. You know, that's not anything we do, of course. It was just an unfortunate incident, but, you know, I'm much more aware of what's around me now as far as wildlife goes. If you come across Havelina, Arizona Game and Fish advises simply turning around, or if they happen to be disruptive, use whatever you can at your disposal to make loud noises, hopefully driving them away. I'm Zach Briggs, News for Tucson. And record heat today, 90.